Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Girl Fight Back podcast and I'm your host Tiana. I realized that I did not introduce myself on episode one. That is really crazy. So I apologize for that, but I'm your girl Tiana. You can call me T for short because my name is spelt a little weird, but shout out to my mama. We love her anyways, right? So if you're watching this podcast via YouTube, um, you do see that I'm laughing right now and taking down my hair. So don't mind me. This goes with the topic for today's podcast, which is it's not always going to be pretty, guys. It's not. Everything is not going to be peaches and cream. Everything is not going to be Instagram model ready. Like it's not going to be just coming from Dr. Miami, like, it's not going to be pretty. It's just not. So, one thing that I've realized over the last, I want to say, few months since I've turned 30, is I've asked God for things, I've asked myself of things, And I've stepped up in a lot of ways and I've grown and I've learned different things. And there are some things that I'm receiving right now in my life that are just not in the package that I imagined in my head. There are certain things in my life that are taking place right now that did not come in the manner that I thought they would come. I thought it would come much smoother or much prettier, or just effortlessly um, in different ways. And that is not the case. Um, Your girl has been, theoretically, of course, um, or figuratively, of course, hit by a whole freight train as soon as I turned 30. Um, I had this mindset, oh, when I turned 30, it's on, it's on and popping, we out of our 20s, we finna get it together, blah, blah, blah. Everything's gonna be absolutely amazing. So God sent me um, some new girlfriends um, that I can talk to, send me um, peace, understanding, remove anybody in my life that doesn't need to be there and go to the next level with me. Um, just continue to grow me um, financially and spiritually and emotionally. Um, because that is something that I definitely want to be more aware of my emotions and just bring me all the love and all of the joy and all of the things. And baby, I say no more than two weeks after I turned 30, life did a whole 180. Cause if it did it through 60, it'd be the same, but it did a whole 180, did the complete opposite of what I asked in almost every aspect. Um, I did find some new girlfriends, um, shout out to them, love them. Um, it did not happen the way that I thought it was going to happen. It happened through work and I work from home. (laughs) So that was weird, but amazing at the same time. Uh, shout out to my still friends, love them too. So don't think you've been replaced. Thank you. Um, but when it came to the peace, baby peace something that I realized about peace um and I heard somebody mention it on their podcast and I just wanted to take a like little moment to reflect on what I learned and what I heard is that peace isn't pretty all the time the way that you get peace the fight for peace the the things that you go through to get your peace, it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. Because one thing that I learned is in order to get peace in your life, you have to cut off loved ones, friends, um, habits that you have grown so used to, um, routines that you are so comfortable with that you feel horrible when they happen have you ever had to cut out sugar out of your diet you feel terrible you have headaches 
and all kinds of different things when you're trying to eat healthy. That's the same thing as trying to get peace. When you're trying to get healthy and you're trying to get peace and you have to cut off some things and you have to move different and be different and think different, that hurts and it's not pretty. So right now I'm in a season of creating my peace, not finding it. I'm not searching for it in anybody anymore. I'm not searching for it in anything else anymore. I am creating my peace. That is one thing that I've struggled with my whole adult life is creating peace for myself and in my household. And it's not always going to be pretty. It's not always going to be pretty. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can clearly see that I'm taking down my hair. It looks rough. I look rough, but that's okay. This is, this is the real life struggle. This is real life. I am here to be as transparent as I can be with still keeping um, my peace, creating a safe space for me. But I wanted to show you guys and let you guys know that it's not always going to be pretty. It's not always picture perfect. It's not always put together in the package that you wanted it. So me asking for peace did not come in the way that I wanted it. I had to learn the hard way that creating my peace takes some pain. It takes some cutting. It takes some losing because some things didn't get cut off. Some things I just literally lost and it, it hurts and it, it didn't feel good, but that's okay. And I'm okay with the season that I am in because I'm learning in the process itself may be hard, but it's beautiful because there's a learning and an unlearning and just a beautiful transformation happening. And I'm just so thankful to be open and receptive to change this time in my life. So thank you guys again for listening to episode two. It's not always pretty. Remember today that you are worth fighting back and girl, you better fight back. Boy, you better fight back. You better fight back. You deserve it. Bye guys.